It's very common to be told that your child may have a lazy eye. But my experience is a lot of parents aren't quite clear exactly what that means. To some of us, having a lazy eye may mean that the eyes aren't straight, that one eye is pointing in a slightly different direction to another. As healthcare professionals, or those of us who deal with children's eye health, a lazy eye usually means that your child has one eye that isn't as strong in terms of vision as the other eye. There are lots of different reasons why people may come to see me. Sometimes it might be uh, a suspicion that you as a parent have had that your child doesn't quite see as well. Sometimes it can be a concern that your, the school has raised about your child. Sometimes you may have gone for a routine eye test thinking that your child didn't have a problem and somebody may have said uh, or remarked that your child's vision is not as strong in one eye as another. It can be a very worrying thing to hear as a parent that your child may have one eye that's not as strong in its vision as the other eye. There are lots of concerns that are probably going through your head that I think are completely understandable. Is this a permanent thing? Can it be treated? Is my child's vision going to get worse? Is it going to affect their general development? Is this going to affect their choice of career? It's, I think all of us would agree, it's better to have two strong eyes than one strong eye. So that's where we can help at Clinical London if you've been told that your child may have a lazy eye. The first thing that will happen is that your child will be seen by a highly trained orthoptist who's skilled in the assessment of children's vision and looking at how eyes work together. Sometimes being in a relaxed environment where there's time, where you've got a rapport with the child, can be all that's needed and it may just show that your child has normal vision in each eye. If our orthoptist does confirm that your child may have a lazy eye, the next step is putting some drops into, the, into your child's eye just to dilate the pupils and usually that's something that isn't too bad for most children at all. Once the drops have worked, we can recheck your child's glasses prescription and then it's a chance for me to meet your child and check the health of their eyes. Sometimes, all you need is a little reassurance that your child's vision is completely fine and they may not have a lazy eye at all. Other children may need a pair of glasses just to support the visual development of your child. In some cases, glasses may not be enough. And then we talk about patching of your child's eye. This can be something that makes a lot of people very concerned because they have visions of how patching is done and it being quite a distressing experience for your child. But actually most children tolerate it very well, particularly if there are tips and tricks to make it a much more child-friendly experience. What patching essentially involves is covering your child's good eye for a period of time a day, really just to let the weaker eye become stronger and become more used by your child's brain.